Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and this morning we're getting ready to cook some breakfast. Um, any day of the week, just a little quick breakfast idea. So, this morning we'll be having bagel sandwiches and I have the Thomas bagel things. If you guys have ever seen these in the store, which I'm sure you have, these are like the thin sliced bagels you can make sandwiches and everything with. I thought they'd be perfect for a breakfast sandwich. Alright, so we got some Publix eggs. We got some thick cut bacon. Gotta be the thick cut. That thin just don't work out. All right, and I got some mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna have bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for breakfast. Sounds good to me. All right, y'all, simple ingredients. I mean, you can do uh, sausage, turkey sausage, turkey bacon, whatever you wanna do. But these bagel thins are really good for sandwiches. Like sometimes we do lunch meat sandwiches with them, all kinds of stuff. You can do anything you want. Or you can just toast them with cream cheese. They are really good. Um, all right, that's it. Easy ingredients. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get these eggs fried up, scrambled up. I've got about a tablespoon of butter in my pan. Putting my eggs in, that butter is ready. Thinking I go ahead and show y'all my eggs. I haven't shown y'all me scrambling my eggs in a minute. Let's get y'all zoomed in. Uh, y'all already know, y'all hear some noise in the background. Y'all already know I'm washing. Don't act like y'all don't know. I'm cooking and washing at the same time. Y'all already know how I go. So, all right. So, we got the eggs scrambled. I've got the bacon in the oven. And you know what? This is something nice and quick you can do. Do the week, on the weekend, whenever you want to do it. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and toast the bagels. I'm going to get these eggs scrambled up real quick. Bacon's about done in the oven. Quick Saturday, Sunday morning breakfast for the family. Get these eggs scrambled up. And don't forget, uh, yeah, did I tell y'all I put about two tablespoons of milk in my eggs. Helps make your eggs nice and fluffy. Get these eggs scrambled up. And I just kind of like fold my eggs. I don't do the whole scrambling, scrambling. I like just folding them, doing them this way. That way it helps my eggs be nice and fluffy. And remember, we're gonna be putting these on the bagel to make a sandwich, so we don't want them too lumpy. Yeah, I so said, let me go ahead and get the people what they want. Go ahead and cook my eggs. I have not cooked my eggs in a while on the channel. I think I wanna do a separate video how to scramble eggs. A nice little quick video, you know. Quick and easy way to scramble eggs. Because believe it or not, you know, some people struggle with scrambling eggs. I mean, you know, when you're first learning how to cook, I mean, come on. But yeah, let me cut my heat down a little bit. Got a medium high heat. And the thing about with eggs, it does not require a high heat. You do not need the stove on high to scramble no eggs. So, a nice medium heat does it. And you don't want your eggs to have a burnt taste either, so you don't really need high heat to scramble eggs. Doesn't take long. And see how your eggs look all nice and pretty and fluffy? Just kind of lightly toss them around. Let them get a little brown. And eggs cook quick. This is not something you can walk away from. Scrambling eggs. That bacon smells so good. I'm ready to eat right now. Smells so good. Just toss them around. Don't take much. And once you see your eggs aren't wet anymore, that's pretty much how you know they're done. They're not wet, you know. They don't have that wet look. All right. And once I see that my eggs are all done. 
I get them all nice and flat in my pan so they can get brown on that side. Let them get a little brown and then you guys will see. I got kind of leave them alone as you see. Give them a minute. Hold on a second. Let me get y'all. Okay. Yeah, I give them a minute to brown on that side and then I'll flip them. Just a little bit of browning. I don't brown both sides. Just a little bit. See, just to get a little brown. I'm gonna cut my stove off because that's good enough. Just a little brown on that side. And that's it y'all for the scramble eggs. Let me take y'all in. See a nice little light brown, they nice and fluffy. And that's it for the egg, that's it, that's all. All right, that bacon should be out soon. I'll be back y'all. All right, y'all, we back for the grand finale. Got that bacon all roasted and cooked up in the oven. Got our eggs all finished. Just wanted to really show y'all how I scrambled my eggs. I hadn't done that in a while. Look at that bacon. Y'all already know I put the parsley on the bacon. Uh-uh-uh. Giving y'all a close-up of them eggs and that bacon. Parsley on there. And I did toast the bagels. The bagel thins, I did toast those. They look good. I probably put a little butter on mine. Sometimes I like putting a little jelly, you know, make it like a little sweet, salty sandwich. Y'all should try that. That's really good. But yeah, they turned out really good. I did a little light toast. A little light toast. And that's it, y'all. A nice little quick breakfast idea. Y'all seen me do it, so y'all know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.